Well, I am going to show you guys how to make this. I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see my, my recipe. So this is for bacon to make. It is um, in the Micro Pro Grill. It's called Bacon and Smoked Gouda Dip. And it's amazing. So raise your hand if you've made it before. If you've made it once, you've made it five times because it's so good. All right. So this is what we're going to make. Um, and I will post the recipe in Bravo for you guys. I'll post it. I just stole it off of the Tupperware recipe group. Um, but it is made also in the Micro Pro Grill like Judy used tonight. So um, some of the things Judy talked about, I'm going to talk about, like I'm going to make some bacon bits as well. But that's okay because it's kind of reiterating that. So what you're going to need for this recipe is you're going to need a small bowl. And you're going to mean to make some bacon bits. So like Judy said, there's no easier way to make bacon than in the micro pro grill. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to take about six pieces, six to eight pieces of bacon, and you're going to put them in your micro pro grill. And you're going to put it down on the grill mode where it smushes it down. And you're going to cook that bacon in the microwave. Um, it takes about five minutes. And then like Judy said, you can kind of flip it over, things like that. You know when bacon is finished. Um, the crispier that you make it, the easier it's going to make your bacon bits. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your chopper. I'm going to use my little, my little chopper tonight, the, the chop and prep. And I'm going to take my cooked bacon. This is the bacon that I cooked tonight. Some of it I already made some uh, bacon bits for you guys. But all I'm going to do is you're going to take your bacon out of your grill and you're going to put it on a plate and um, like a paper towel or an, um, one of your micro uh, fiber towels and you're going to get it dry and you're going to let it cool all the way off. You're going to put it into your chop and prep or you can use your big um, um, quick chef, excuse me, power chef. You're going to put your top on it and all you're going to do is you're going to pull the string. I know my camera is not the greatest in this in this boat tonight, but you're going to pull your string. And the reason that you want to make sure that your bacon is um, cooled off and dried is because if it's too greasy or it's too hot, literally it's going to just run it in a circle and it's not going to crumble it like this. Okay. So here are your beautiful bacon crumbles, just like Judy made. And I've got some I'm going to add to it. Okay. So you've got your bacon. And then the other ingredients that you're going to take is you're going to put everything into a bowl. So I'm going to try to let you guys see this and not me because I'm not the star of the show tonight. It's Tupperware. So you're going to take your bacon bits. We are going to keep a little bit out just for a topping. Okay, so you're going to hold some on a reserve. Then you're going to take a fourth of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese and you're going to dump that in. You're also going to take one piece of garlic and you're going to mince it or chop it in the chopper, just like we just chopped um, your bacon. You're going to chop that piece of garlic up and get that all nice and done. And then you're also going to take some, um, I hope I pronounced this correctly. I've always pronounced it scallion, so I hope I'm saying that right. Um, you're going to take your scallion and you're going to uh, slice those up. Again, you want to hold out some of these. I think the recipe says two tablespoons. I, you know, I already measured everything and brought it for you guys. But you're all just going to have that together. Then you're going to take your Gouda, your freshly grated, beautiful cheese that is absolutely amazing. And you're going to add that in. Now, I have made this recipe with other cheeses and they work. So if you're at home right now and you're thinking, oh, I want to make that tomorrow and I don't have Gouda, you can use some other cheeses and it's going to work great. We're also going to take a half a cup of sour cream and we're going to add that in. And again, this recipe is going to melt and kind of, you know, kind of all go together in the micro pro grill. But if you kind of let everything set out at room temperature, it works better. So this is a eight ounce block of um, cream cheese and you're going to cube it just like I've cubed here on our cutting board and then you're going to let it sit out at room temperature just because it will mix better that way and another thing is I'm using a bowl tonight because that's how the recipe words it but you can definitely once you make this a time you'll see that you can do this in your um, power chef 
and it works wonderfully. Okay. So you can definitely put all the ingredients. If you're at a party, you could um, chop up your bacon bits in the um, chop and prep. And then you could use your power chef, your larger chopper to do what I'm doing right here and just blend and, and make all this really nice in the chopper. So you can utilize both choppers all in one recipe. The only thing I want to caution you on is if you're going to use your power chef with cream cheese, you need to let it sit out. It needs needs to be very softened and you need to use the blade. Do not use the paddle whip um, because it will work a whole lot better for you. Um, I've done that plenty of times at parties and it works really beautifully. All right, so we've got everything mixed together. We're gonna take our beautiful grill. And I gotta tell you guys, as I'm spreading this in the grill tonight, when we were packing up to come down here. I grabbed my Micro Pro grill from my house and then I was like, oh wait, I have one on the boat. <laughs> all my Tupperware here. I have my measuring spoons. I had my spatula. I have stocked my little boat with everything I need. So all we're going to do is spread this in our grill and we are going to put it on the casserole mode setting, which I'm sure that Judy talked about that. Um, that's where it's going to kind of set up higher and not really touch my cheese mixture. We're going to get some of that off of there. We don't waste any of our mixture. All right, perfect. So we're gonna put our casserole mode on, which is gonna set just like this, so it sets up tall. I am going to put that in the microwave for five to seven minutes. Make sure my camera stops moving. <laughs> my boat's moving, sorry. We're gonna put that in the microwave for about five to seven minutes and we're just heating it. Everything's obviously cooked. We're gonna get it nice and bubbly. And then after I'm gonna, the bacon bits and the scallions that I reserved, we're gonna take that and sprinkle it right over the top. And then you can eat it with green bell peppers. You can eat it with green zucchini. You could eat it with um, pita chips, crackers, anything that you want to. Um, you could just eat it with a spoon if you want to, because I know Inky loves cheese. She'd probably do that. <laughs> you could spread it on some bread. Um, but this is absolutely one of my most favorite, favorite um, dips. And um, I really highly encourage you guys to go make it because you're definitely going to like it. And I will.